Hey YouTube, this is a survival kid, and I'm going to make a survival kit video for my big survival kit here. So first, I must say my microphone's been acting a little weird. So I'm gonna put in the description below everything that's in this, and hopefully you can understand what I'm saying in the video. So first, I am going to start with this pocket down here. So. In it is a basic survival kit from SOL for Survive Outdoors lo Longer. Um, in it is a survival emergency blanket that reflects your heat back to you. Um, Firelight, again, only good for the quick tinders that are in this kit. You have four of them. You get uh, one whistle, one button compass. Spend your money on a good quality compass. Don't get button compasses. They don't work always in something then get i've got duct tape in this thing and a survival instructions in the medical supplies it's antiseptic towels ibuprofen triple antibiotic ointment bandages adhesive fabric and uh bandages and adhesive stuff like that and there's safety pins always good for fishing hooks and stuff like that so next is this pocket up here, um, um, in this pocket I got a Coleman electronic compass, it states the date, the time, um, of course where north and south are and east and west are. It's got the phase of the moon and an alarm clock, which I think is good. But it's battery powered and it wastes a lot of battery very fast. So if you don't got extra batteries, get them. Next, we're going to move to the other side of the other side of the survival kit. So yeah. Next, we got this pocket. If you can see. This pocket right here is my fire pocket. In it, we've got um, magnesium fire steel, uh, fire steel, and yeah, stuff like that, my starter. Then we've got these fire sticks that work very well. And it's just a mess in there, so I'm gonna tell you what else I have. I've got dryer lint and get from your dryer. And then I've got cotton balls. It's all just mixed up in there. I'm not gonna deal with getting it out right now. So that's the fire aspect. Next, um, I got carabiners, you know, just for climbing, hooking stuff up, stuff like that. I can even get more of those. I don't have one right now. Next is my uh, one of the most important stuff is your string. I got this nylon cord, it's 25 pounds, 225 feet. It's good for tiny shelters. I'm going to use this to make bows um, out of wood and stuff. Next, I have an assortment of nylon cordage that I don't use for much. I'm using, I got it off this pack. So, yeah, it's just going to be for tiny stuff. And I got my paracord. This is a fake paracord for you survival fanatics. Works just as well. The only problem is it's not as strong. You know, you get 550. This is 100 pounds. Has like 50 feet. It's good for me. Just good enough. I'll be using it to make shelters, some snares, and stuff like that. Next, we have. We got. Next, we have our weapon department. I've got my hatchet. Nice, heavy, good, nice rubber grip. It's made by Coleman, so I can always trust them. Uh, this is good for chopping wood, chopping anything. But, you know, when it comes to firewood, do not use an axe. Put, put your firewood up against a rock and break it like a man with your leg. What else I have is in this, I got it taken away. I feel really stupid about that. No one got hurt or anything. It's just I was being stupid. Um... It's my survival knife. It's a 10 inch, 10, 8 inch, sorry, 8 inch blade with a serrated edge that cuts up to a 6 inch diameter log. In, in the grip is a 
um, survival, survival, um, what's it called, survival, um, survival kit itself, it's a survival knife, so in there is waterproof natchez, um, sewing kit, and a fish hook, fishing kit, um, button compass, and some plastic baggies and cotton balls. That's it, you know, just enough to get you by. There's nothing of major importance in there. So, yeah, there's that. Next, we have this pack. I'm not going to go to the trouble of taking out, but they're flashlights that you crank up and they'll last you for about a minute and a half each after you crank them up for about uh, three minutes. It's just to get your own motivation up until you get a fire going, something to protect you. And then. In this basic thing, I've got a stick, it's a spear my friend made me. Uh, I'm not going to give this or those away or anything like that because, you know, I'm really respectful of my friends for what they try to do. So I'm going to keep this. I might, you know, latch on small enough to the edge and use this as a large knife, a large handle. I'm going to do something with it, I'm not throwing it away. Next, I got my canteen military grade plastic you can't really use it much for this but hold water you might be able to boil a little if you put it like in a rock that's what this is for and uh, that's just about it next we've got my cooking pot if I can get to it it's not very big you can cook pan fish in it pan fish fillets it's really just rain for boiling water cooking small animals like mice squirrels maybe a rabbit and then boiling water and cooking rice and making tea. I love tea. And next we've got food survival packets. Don't ever, 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 ever use those unless you need to because you know you're just gonna, you're not gonna use them at all. You're just gonna gobble them down. If you're starving out there, go ahead and eat one, but once you start eating them, you won't stop because you'll be just so accustomed to normal food, you know, food. So my advice to you is just, just eat what you can get for yourself until you're in desperate need of that. So that's that's my survival kit. It's all contained within this camping bag, which I will be strapping more stuff to the bottom of this, like sleeping bags, a tarp some uh, glow sticks, a bunch of stuff like that. I got this bag for $20 at a yard sale. So it's good, it's a $200 thing. It's nicely worn. I'm not gonna be, you know, tossing around. I know like Dan's Depot, they got nice strong, just purely mm, clothes, cloth, bag. And you know what, I respect those guys, but I'm not gonna trust them to know what's best for me. So yeah. If you guys think I should add any more into my survival kit, just tell me, put it in the comments below, and then I will pull everything that I have in the comments below, or most of it, and um, rate, comment, subscribe. Please tell me if I need more in this, because I'm just, you know, I, I've thought of everything.